atmosphere here in the auditorium. Don't forget, if you want to contact the team with any questions or tell us who you think will win today's final, just tweet us using the hashtag BBC Bowls. So, Sean is now in the commentary box alongside our main man, David Corkill. A very easy walk around to the commentary box. No need to scramble up here, plenty of time. Players are always hidden away whenever the interviews are going on, so I'm assuming that they weren't able to hear you, Sham, when you made your tip. No, I didn't want to hear them to hear who my 50p was on. <laughs> oh, it wouldn't well. have been ideal. <laughs> not, not, not ideal indeed. It's, uh, but I think it has to be a good call based on the fact of the way uh, Catherine has been playing and so far. I think Catherine just has seemed so comfortable and in her seven final match yesterday, her second set in particular was so consistent. Um, that's what I based it on, really. A great start again. Final of the singles extended to 11 ends, 3 end tie break. Shot clock is in action, 30 seconds to deliver the ball. Two right. Two right. Another useful ball. I'm not surprised to see Rebecca sort of. Uh, I would expect it to take her a couple of ends to settle down today. I think. I think there is more pressure on Rebecca Field, even though Catherine is the defending champion. I think that she's just going to take a little while to settle into her stride. Well, it's a, it's a good ball. It's only a foot or so away, 14 right. inches away. But the problem is there's no back position, which means she can't attack the head unless she's prepared to take a risk to go with it. Whereas Catherine can draw away at this. Line two, back position covered. That's another one. That's a very impressive start. It's a great goal by Catherine. It's just tucked right. away nicely as well, David, so... Well, I'm not sure if it's actually counting, but it's another ball in the area. And if um, Rebecca Field, well, just dropped out. If Rebecca Field wants to attack this, she's going to have to be very careful of her own ball. She's gone quick down the forehand, and she's very... Oh, great ball. Oh, that was the risk she took coming through and making sure she went with it. But she played it beautifully. And that's a real get out of jail card One shot. shot. The field. Absolutely, she played it perfectly and just just got the right connection to go through and get in the jack, get to the, the jack and pick up one. It's a great ball. Got herself out of trouble a bit there, certainly. It's got the connection as well off the red ball, pushed it on the other way. If it had have gone off the rink to the respot, she would have been still two or three down. Rebecca Field very much Jack known as a draw shot a player, inches. but very capable of playing the attacking shots.
shall open by way of the third. She's going to want to put Catherine under as much pressure as she can, as early as she possibly can. the standard going win for an absolutely cracking game. Two greens. Change onto the forehand. Two green. She's forced Catherine into play and wait, which you would expect. And she's close to the target. She can get down. Oh, what a result that is. Goodness me. She has to oh. flip over her own bowl enough for sure, and out goes the green. One right. Catherine's boyfriend, Jake, and mother Chris, and grandmother behind them. They're always in the same seat. Mum and Granny. Rice smile there from the boyfriend. down to the draw shot to try and pull the jack back. Difficult, hard to get back when you put the extra weight on. Just slightly overplayed it here. Well, a good effort. The running ball from Catherine was, uh, well, she just about got the edge. Uh, and like a, a yeah, that would have hurt. I mean, she was in the area, there's no doubt about it, but absolute maximum result there to, to be holding one at the end of it. And a chance to add another and plenty of room as well. She's trying hard with this. It's a great ball from Catherine Redmore. Perfect. Right. The last time Catherine was lying, two, maybe three two shots, shots never Catherine taken Redmore. away. And this time, so that's got two, Rebecca one, was lying. Two Two or three shots and uh, they were taken away. And I think that just shows how, um, what a versatile player Catherine Rednell is as well. You know, she's, she's just showed her range there with, with only two bowls. Jack Lang, 28 metres. Uh, it's got quality written all over it, this game. They're such good players, both of them. They're such good drawing players with it. They both spoke about their first two bowls. You know, that is their real strength. They're great leads with two bowls. Yes, international standard leads is what you, you get whenever you, you play with them in the international arena. Win 
Will Gris, the fiancé of Rebecca Field, waiting to play his match. And he'll be on show later this evening. He takes on Stuart Anderson. It's always the danger of playing the running ball when you've one ball in the head. A chance of taking your own out. Yeah, she chose to go early there, and she chose quite a lot of weight for for the shot, but now she's left in a position where she's got to attack again. Yes, and uh, we see Catherine Rednell going just a little bit deeper this time. Anything behind Jack is good. Close this time. Yep. Well, the trouble with going again is it's always going to be an issue. The back position was really good. She has a green ball back there, but by taking one out, she's still leaving the other one. So and a huge amount of room for Catherine right. to just keep exactly. piling them in. A massive amount of room, and uh, and that's where the issue is. So there will be a draw. It'll be required. I can't see her going for a single ball target. And Catherine wants to score this, but she doesn't want to provide a shoulder. Just wants to make sure the ball is online. Oh dear. Well, that's got to be tempting. You're so close. That's got to be tempting to go again. Three red. Damage limitation. The best you can probably do on the draw is third shot. Might as well go up. Looked very tempting to drive again and, and much more of a target than just the one ball that was there previously. Yeah. Yeah, also, the factor is there were two green balls at the back, so ball on the jack. Three shots, Catherine Reddell. And she was probably going to score. Yeah, she had options there. Yeah, surprised at that, but uh, it's all down to the player. Let's go 5 1 after three ends. Jack length 28 metres. Long jack length. Which is very comfortable there. Rebecca Field's going to have to start making the First two ball battle hers. She needs to start winning that one. She's dropped straight in, hasn't she? From the very first end, she was bang, bang, bang. Down again, just tucking in behind the jack this time. It's going to make another double. This one doesn't look good. She's lost her way in the sand. She's just pulled it. She's just scratching around a little bit. She just yeah. needs to settle down, get back to drawing, which is what she does best. 
Helen Thornhill. She's looking at the third one here. Three red. Dropped out, but it might well have made the fourth, and still nothing, just one ball really close. So we expect uh, Rebecca Field to draw this. It would be a very loose forward lose. Yeah, I'd expect Rebecca to be drawing the shot, and if not the shot, certainly second. She doesn't like it, though. Ooh, well, I think if that's the case, it might be an overcorrection she's worried about in terms of being heavy with this. Just overplayed it, but she might. Well, took that one out. That might save the front one. I think it's still three. We favour three. I think I'll probably measure it, though. I would have expected her to get in there, David. Yes, that'll be disappointing. She knew out of the hand that it was heavy, and yeah, that's, that's, that's a good sign. It's when you let one go like that and you're four feet through and you, you thought you were close to the jack. Now, that's a concern. Two out, measure for the third. No, not that Early days in this set, only four Three ends. Right and a measure. But the gap is, well, it's getting rapidly very big. You really don't want the player to get away to any more than a few shots. Matt in hand, anxious to get on with it. Three shots, Catherine Rednall. Uh, two shots and then two threes. It's not that Rebecca's Eight playing badly, but Catherine's just taken her opportunities to add and capitalise on when she's holding. She's had a couple of loose hands, though, and, and um, whenever you have loose hands at this level, you're, you're going to get punished. If your opposition starts scoring in multiples, it's, um, it's a problem. Jacqueline, the scoreboard turns and over inches. very rapidly. There's plenty of ends to go, but... Rebecca will be feeling like it's a bit of an uphill battle in this first set. This key, this next end is key. One green. Well, this is definitely more like it now. First ball in, the second one just drifting around behind. That's always very useful. Yeah, it just gives her options for later on in the end if she needs them. Good here from Catherine. Just playing up to it. Good okay, draw. Mm, All right. Uh, see, just as this ball comes in, it just touches the jack, and that indicates now it'll be sprayed with chalk. That means it's a toucher. Goes into the ditch, it stays live. That was a question asked earlier today from Martin Turnock. That's what the spray chalk is for. If the ball goes into the ditch, without touching, 
and then it's taken away. All the bowlers will know that, of course, but uh, a large, very large audience of non-bowlers. So there we go in the tweets, hashtag BBC Bowls. Questions will be uh, received, looked at, and if we can answer them, we surely will try. Please don't make them too complicated. from the back and forward, obviously trying to turn the red ball onto, onto the jack. Catherine Free, I'm not sure going to do with her last ball. One shot, Catherine Red now. Set score, 9-1 after five ends. Jack length 28 metres. Well, once again, that first ball getting in. This has happened a few times now in this match already. The first two bowls of Rebecca Field has gone a bit wayward. She just hasn't got into any sort of rhythm yet. No. There's been there's been flashes of it. There's yeah, been occasions. Yeah, you're right, but nothing consistent. Trouble is, playing her third bowl, she's gonna be in a heap of trouble. Yep, here it comes. Thank you. Attempted to run down on the forehand at this, try and make a disturbance. Well, just drawing in, it's a lot closer. Got a chance on the second ball. Just sliding off. I think she'll be keen to keep drawing to just try and hit her stride here. She, she knows that she's got to do something in the second set and she'll want to just get into her groove as quickly as she possibly can. Still time to go, though. We're only on their sixth end of 11. Timeout called. In two sets. Catherine has five timeouts remaining. You know, a pull of the jack for Rebecca Field could pick up a couple. Extra time out, of course, given for uh, the 11 in finals. Catherine is a very, very quick player. Well, she sees the danger. She's going deep. She thinks Rebecca will be playing into this. Yeah, the crowd realise that too. 
good odds to play into this. She'll, yeah, she's she's got the option of the bow or the jack is what she wants, but there's there's a couple of different opportunities there. She doesn't like it, David. Well, she didn't push through it. That's the problem. Oh dear. And you can hear the crowd murmuring at that. It's uh, you know, the old adage is you can't get anything if you're not up. And um, she shouldn't have been short at that. No. She, you know, even if she was drawing, she should have been making sure Pretty she was shot. positive. She had the chances there. Yeah. This set, set is really just going away That's now. Four, That's a third three. Twelve one. A couple more ends. There'll be no return. There's only one thing for Rebecca Field now, and that is Jack to like twenty-seven and a half meters. Try and extend this set for as long as humanly possible. Just try and get a couple of shots. Try and force it down to the last two ends. So the longer she's out there, there's more chance of working her way into the match. But uh, Catherine's not letting up, and to be fair, she's getting a bit of a free run at the moment. She is, but she she is playing very well. She's she looks very comfortable out there, and it's easy, I suppose, when you're just adding them in. But she's still doing it. One ball on the front of the jack, a couple of inches, the next one behind by 18, 20 inches. Right. Judy Potter, uh, baby pink today. Always very colourful is Judy. And of course, Sean in her usual seat. Yep. No one dare get in there. Not a chance of sitting on that one. <coughs> one right. Well, everything in the line, it's not easy. But again, there's that drop short ball again. It's, it's a bit of a struggle to say the least, isn't it? There was one green one in there, but the other two are wayward. She's just scratching around. She can't she can't find her way. She had to attack on the very first end of the set, saved herself, and since then she just hasn't been able to string a few together. That's what she needs. She just needs a couple of good ends. So she just can settle down and, and then it comes, doesn't it? Well, it does. And I think for Catherine, she's just blasting away there, taking every single opportunity as she can. She'll come off that green. No, that. Well, it's opened things in terms of a target. She One really way. needed to get past it. So uh, if I was. Uh, Rebecca Field here, I play a running ball at this, just to try and open things up, and there is a back green ball. That might be very useful. I think she's got to. She might want to release a bit of frustration That's as well. She might do her good. Release the tension, isn't it? Get she, rid of it. Well, she's going the backhand draw to within two inches. I think that's surprising, considering how her drawing's been so far. Yeah. I would have pushed right through that just to... One shot, Catherine um, Rednall. I think I would have got my arm going on that one. Yep. Yeah. Get it out my system. She's probably thinking to herself, no, I'll just draw this and try and find good weight, but uh, sometimes it's just not the right shot. 
And uh, the run continues with a two, three, three, single, three and one. And it's, uh, well, if you're Rebecca Field supporter, that scoreline looks pretty frightening. Jacqueline, 26 and a half metres. First time. That's Cal loose from Catherine. Well, Catherine Reddell just missed the chance to get close to the first ball, so now it's time for Rebecca to try and take advantage of that. It certainly looks better. <laughs> well, it's an encouraging clap, I think. Well, I think the crowd want this to want Rebecca to pull up and this to be a bit of a battle. At the moment, it's very one-sided, which is always disappointing in a final. but it didn't make any difference. One red. Too many opportunities. This is better. There we go. And the crowd appreciate it as well. Yes, they, they don't want a one sided final. This one, two feet. And Catherine's well aware of the fact that if she scored one on this end, well, the set was over. Yep, she switched over. Not too far away, it's no, just it's on the outside. Very good effort for the draw. Yeah. Good way. Add another, we'll go into the ninth end. Hmm. Short balls. One shot, Rebecca Field. Set score, 13-2 after eight ends. Well, there's no doubt about the fact that it's... Um, the set's gone. Without a shadow of a doubt, it's gone. Catherine's simply not going to allow Rebecca to score three counts the way she's playing. Well, three counts of four, she's not. No. Length 24 and a half metres. It ends two singles and it's just not enough. If there was a splattering of the odd two or three in there, you could say, well, there's indications that she can push through into the second set, but at the moment, there's nothing to say it's going to be any better. I think sometimes psychologically when you start the second set there's something shifts. I think especially if you've been beaten quite comfortably in the first set, I think it's quite nice to just get that set out of the way, it's gone, you, you can start fresh. I hope that's what happens for Rebecca here. Well, it's a joy of um, the set system. You can, you can get away with that. You can go down 13-2 or 14-2 or whatever the case may be and then start off 0-0, zero, zero. and if you win that set, you're into a tie-break. It's not accumulated shots. No, and how many times do you see if you, you know, just 
the scoreline if you were driving it up. Someone's won by a large margin, but you can just squeak a set win by one or two and still go on to win. I think that's the great thing about sets. Wrong side of it. Had the weight, though. One green. Always a useful ball, well, but uh, really just wanted to get close to the jack. First set's going to be over this end. One green. One shot, Rebecca Field, first set, Catherine Rednall. It's not good enough. Just too many short goals. Time to move on. Thirteen three. No need for the last two ends. And uh, the Rednall camp will be very happy at the moment. Only halfway though. Yeah. A little look up there. Jacqueline, she did, that's unusual for her as well. Yeah, she's normally very focused on things. Uh, when we show them like that, there's a big screen in the arena and they're shown on the screen. Poor start from Rebecca in the second set. This needs to be better. Rebecca switching over here and drawing shot, which she badly needed. That's the two loose bowls. She'll be happy to get that one in there. Yeah, she wants to get off and running, really, in this set. Doesn't want to be losing counts. And Catherine Rednall, close with this one. Very close. Very good bowl here from Catherine Rednall. Yeah. Great bowl. Not letting up on things. One red. <laughs> Just on the high side. I didn't mind the weight so much because no, I think... there was a chance with that weight. Right. Catherine would be trying to draw another. If she touches a jack, she could make three. That would really hurt. It's very close here. Good break oh, goal from wow. Catherine Redmond. Great yeah. bowling. Not an easy two to make, but my goodness me, she made it look easy. Two shots, Catherine Redmond. She's in total control out there at the moment. She's she's very comfortable. She's playing very well. 
Becca had a little sneak then, and she just battered her back away. Absolutely. Wonderful arena here at the Potter's Leisure Resort. Always get good crowds. Okay, 27 and meters. start. Generally speaking, the women players will use a slightly smaller ball. Not everyone does, but good reply from Rebecca. Quite often they're using a size two or size three, and um, we do get some of the players would use a four, very rarely a five, Sean. Yeah, I think it's rare for women to play with anything. Don't often see them playing with anything above a four. And uh, the men would generally use a size four. Occasionally there's a three, but of course it goes all the way down to zero. And uh, for the you know, small hands, but the manufacturers are all the same. The biases are the same that are available for men and women. Grips as well. One grain. Of course, when they come here, there's a lot of uh, pool bowls available, as we call them. There's uh, 30 or 40 sets of those, and people can choose bowls to use. But the top players have their own. Well, just dropped out. Yeah, okay. and they One would grain. often have two sets, the green and uh, the red, provided by sponsors. Of course, the general rule is that people should play with the biggest bowl that they can comfortably play with. That was always the, always the advice. Well, it was. I think it's all advice now. Look at this ball going down just four feet short. It used to be the case that the smaller bowls would swing all over the shop, but that's not the case now either. question was posed by William Jones, who I think he described the bowls as woods, and that's a different story altogether. It's a reference back to the old Lignum Vitae days. This is good. No, she got it through to her own. Yeah, she has. Just enough. Great ball. Yeah. Good head. Five balls in, very close to the jack. One red. But there is a shot there. And it's a good shot. Ball on the ball. Take it out. Lie one, maybe even two, depending on the contact that's made. No, down on the forehand. It's hard to pick a line out in this particular shot. Thunder, yeah. David. She is. No, I don't know. It's no difference now. I was just thinking she could get that one into it. One shot, Catherine Rednell. Would have been fortunate, but uh, Catherine Rednell yet again. Gets in. Set score three one after two ends. Jack Lang, 27 metres.
One red. Sorry. Gap and last bowl, 14 inches. This is better from Rebecca. Got a chance with it. Mr. Hurry. Yeah, very good. Just sneaked in front of Catherine. One green. It's almost painful coming in, that one. Well, it's... <laughs> oh, back ball, just a movement there as well, but... She'll settle for line one shot. Under the forehand, looking for the deep red ball. Drop off it, make a two. Mm, good weight. Just One green. try and stay away from the jack a little bit. Just overplayed the line. Mm. Catherine will be drawing this. If he touches the jack, she'll... Uh, so I'll make a double and, um, and people say about scoring twos and threes, we quite often refer to them as doubles and trebles. And at international level, that's what we do. Our club players go to the twos and the threes, but all terminology. At the, the day, it's semantics sometimes about what way you describe things, but... It is, and different areas of the country are always going to use different words and phrases. That was a great ball from Catherine. Yeah. Really good. Great position as well. Back positions all red balls. One red. If you look at the two red balls at the bottom of your picture, that really is going to make life very, very difficult. I don't see much on for Rebecca Field here. Just try and draw up to it. It's another end where Rebecca Field hasn't got any back position, so her, her choices are so limited. Yeah. She wasn't too bad for weight, to be truthful mm, with you. Fair. Yeah, just narrowed it a shade. But One shot, Catherine Rednell. Well, it had to be a perfect draw, but once again, Catherine Rednell just pops it in. Score 4 0 after three ends. Jack length 28 metres. It's a short ball again, isn't it? That's been the default with the first two from Rebecca. And just makes life so much harder for herself, that's the problem. Catherine's just punishing her at the moment. Turned her back on it again. She really is struggling, and it's hard to, to watch this because she's so much better. We all know that. In the meantime, Catherine Rednell is getting a free run, and well, she's just doing exactly what she has to do: take you, advantage. You can't give Catherine Rednell a free run. Simple as that. That was always the danger. She's been playing so well in her previous matches, and she's very, very confident. Very confident, very relaxed out there. And Rebecca would have known that she'd needed to really be up there with the first two in particular.
three red. Really, really good stuff from Catherine Redmore. Well, she's finding centre line as well, yeah. and um, the crowd are just uh, acknowledging that level of skill. Well, the, the short term right. attentive memory on line and weight is very much with the 21 year old, sorry, 22 year old, just turned 22. And, and really, Rebecca's just left in so much trouble again. Oh, this is going to overcorrection. Understandable. Yeah, Four shots. Not easy Catherine to the shot there with four down. But Catherine's just making it look so easy at the moment. Wow. Well, well, eight zero after four ends. Rednell Camp, obviously very happy at the moment. They're just working out how many ends they've got to go. I think. It's, um, it's a difficult one, isn't it? Jack Lang, 28 Not good meters. to see, but at the same time, you have to appreciate the fact that it's a bit of an exhibition on one side, and Rebecca Field has, uh, at the moment, got no answer. Great ball from Rebecca Field. That's much better, much happier seeing it behind. Well, it gives her a good starting point now. You can play either side, little touch in the jack makes a double. Got a chance with this, a little touch on it. Okay. Well, that's remarkable, really, when you consider the last number of ends, and, and that's what we expect from Rebecca Field, is two balls like that. Well, Rebecca's a great player, you know, she's a very accomplished player with a, a really strong record, and we know she can, we know she can bowl like this. Well, she's got a chance here. She's forcing Catherine into a running ball. She's missed. Moving to the other side, that's uh, just staying away from the jack, maybe trying to go a bit deep, expecting Catherine to, to get it. But uh, tuck of the jack around the corner would be good. Oh, there you go. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's, the ability's there. We all know that. Looks under. Four shots coming up. <laughs> now, Rebecca, no mistakes. Yep, four shots it is, and look at the four shots. Four shots, Rebecca Field! Great for from Rebecca, and the first time that she's really put Catherine under any sort of pressure in the entire match. Absolutely, and games can turn very quickly, and she Let's has score. got Eight, time. After five ends. And she forced Catherine into playing two weighted bowls, which she, she played very quickly, but obviously both under with 
with each of them. Let's see what happens now. Gap length 28 metres. First ball of the game. Very good opener. Adjusted from Catherine Redmond here, just doing enough to get the shot. One red. Danger of the short balls again. Mm, they're just like a One horrible red. magnet sometimes, short yeah. balls. It's almost like it draws your ball into them. Beckerfield really needs to draw this after picking up a four. You want to uh, get that impact of that full house by picking up a single the next end. Needs to hurry with this though. It's a bit lazy looking. That's a shame. Should be very disappointed with that after last end and drawing so well. Catherine has a chance here. Ten, four, eight, five is a big difference, isn't it? Well, it is, and it also lessens the impact of uh, the four previous end. It's very good. Yeah. Okay, well Catherine Rednall. Two shots, Catherine Rednall. She didn't let the, the four disturb her in the slightest. She didn't, she almost looked a little bit phased for the first time last Set end score, ten, four, when she was forced ends. into playing the running bowls, but she's, uh, she's settled back down now. Of course, Rebecca Field has to win the set. Even coming back to draw it wouldn't be sufficient, although it would make her feel an awful lot better. Jack length 28 metres. Service resumed. Very good start, very strong start.
actually knew that was slightly through the head, just from her body language. She's playing the backhand. It's going to be very hard to get the shot in the backhand. It has to be a perfect draw. Certainly closer with this one. That's oh, a she's great ball. Played it. Great ball. Well, they said it had to be a perfect draw, and that's exactly what she's played. Yeah. The absolute perfect draw. One green. <coughs> Catherine prepared to arrive at this, try and get to the ball or push the jack into it. Just diving under, but the way it was perfect for it. She can even afford to play it with slightly more because she's got the position too. Absolutely. The thing here is that Rebecca Field has uh, always played a very good ball with this one. That's a, that's a clever ball. I'm not sure if she meant it to be there because she was probably just trying to draw into the jack. She needs shots. But it is a good receiving position. But uh, it's actually Catherine Rednell who's got control of the end in terms of the way the head lies, even though she's one shot down. She'd be looking for something very similar. She was so close to the third. She doesn't like it. No, something's wrong. One shot, Rebecca Field. So it's scored 10 5 after, after seven ends. This is all about making the score line look respectable now. Rebecca Field try and get another two or three shots on the card. Yeah, she really needs to score more than, more than one. One's OK, but it's not going to get her back in. It's her fourth single of this match. 16 ends with 1 4. I thought she might have brought the mat right up the rink. And yeah, I thought she might have tried to do something slightly different. Just shake it up a little bit. Jacqueline, 29 metres. Well, that's not an awful lot different to what we've been playing. No. You can see at anything over 27 metres, she's scoring heavily. That's a huge difference in percentage, isn't it? Well, it's massive. If anything, Rebecca Field really should be going down to the 23, 24 metres to compete there. Yeah, she's matched her at the 23 to 25, so that's where she sh you would have thought she'd be putting it. Better here. Get one right in again. Still getting the ball away nice and smooth. Tension hasn't affected the delivery. Needs to hurry though. Oh, a wee bit of the old yarditis, as we would call it, in the bowls world. Yeah, she needed to make sure that one was up. Just uh, getting stuck in that yard short just too often. She's just not putting the pressure on Catherine in the same way that Catherine's doing to her. 
Um, another good example. Ball. Yeah. Great ball. Yeah. Little well. Perfect little touch as well. Perfect. The door was left to open. You can't leave Catherine with that amount of room. She's, she's not going to keep missing. No, she's too good for that. Especially on this form. Absolutely. Yep. She's she's hit the ground running in this game. Oh dear. Hmm. Um, it's, it's just tension, isn't it? Pressure yeah, and tension. Yeah, that's all it is. I mean, that's that's out of character. That sort of ball. Yeah, short and tight, and it's uh, not flowing through the ball, not releasing it properly, and it's very hard to see a player of the standard just suffering a little bit like this. Well, she put the shot ball in the forehand and now she's followed it up. That's excellent bowling from oh, that's, that's so good. This is scary stuff. We'll be shaking hands very soon. And it's happened to... Set score 12-5 after eight ends. So, uh, still a potential 12 shots there, but... Uh, Two shots for Catherine Rednell. Shake hands time. Jack length, 28 metres. Level of consistency has been a bit scary at times, but even when she's not really close to the jack, there's still one or two balls within a foot or so. Just means if your opposition scratching around, they're in deep trouble by the time they get to their third ball. Form just trying to stick to the draw. I think she's plays it, played it with a bit of conviction, though. This is set full. Yeah, good enough for shot. And we've got a big crowd They're responding to that ball with a cheer. One green. Timeout called. Catherine has four timeouts remaining. Hasn't really had to worry too much about timeouts. It's uh, not going to change the shot she's playing, just a draw shot. Get to the green ball or turn the jack around for two. Been motoring along in this game. Yeah, it's been very quick so far. Very close, Catherine. 
Well played, Catherine. Played. Well, that looks good for the shot. Very close, though, because the green ball did fall back. Timeout call. <coughs> Rebecca has five timeouts remaining. If that is the shot, this will be over. Rebecca needing two to carry on the set. Well, she's looking at it, but to be truthful with her, there's so little available. You know, it's uh, it's been a tough day. But played well to get here. Yep. This hasn't worked out, but if it is one red, we're just waiting for confirmation. It hasn't come through yet. That would be 13-5, and the best that Rebecca Rebecca's can got do the is, is Rebecca's two, got four, the so. opportunity for a trail to make two. Yeah. It's not the easiest shot, but she has got a shot on, and that's what she's trying. I'm not sure if it's just going to get back in time. Just well, we'll just see who's lining the shot. If it is one red, we're shaking hands. Catherine back, fancies her own. I'll fire, please. Well, it'll be a measure. And, um, The match has been played at uh, prolific speed in terms of the bowling because there's been very little time, very little uh, discussion between the, the marker and the players, but it'll be up to Francis Fletcher to sort this out. Calipers will do the job. Almost feel that Rebecca would be quite happy, you know, if this is just one red because she gets off the rink and just hasn't been her day. It would have been tough for Rebecca out there. She, you know, she'd be feeling a lot of emotions right now. You can't take it away from Catherine, though. She's played exceptionally well. Well, we still don't know. No reaction from the players. They're watching very carefully. One shot, Rebecca failed. Into another end. Seven shots needed. Set score 12 6 after nine ends. Well, again, she's going on the long jack length. Jack length 29 and a half metres. Be interested to hear her views on that after the game. <laughs> well, I'd, I'll certainly not mention it to her because. No, not straight away. No, I think it's. Uh, the pain will go off. It has to hurt for a while because if it doesn't hurt. If it doesn't hurt, there's no uh, point. There's no point in doing it. There's no point in playing. Um, Something's not right if it doesn't hurt. That's yeah. a great bow. Yeah, you might as well pack it in, but. After a few days, she'll rationalise it and just put it away and say, I was in the final. Just not my day. She didn't settle. She didn't come out and settle, and that was the problem. She scratched around for quite a few ends in the first set. And unfortunately, that just continued in the second. Certainly, you know, the first couple of ends. She didn't score until the, the fifth end, did she? Certainly in the second set, it was the fifth end when she picked up the big four. But look at this, you know. Yeah, it's great I mean, all of a sudden, you know, you're seeing the true Rebecca Field. Yeah, we've caught, we've caught very few glimpses <laughs> of it. A yeah. little smile there which says, where have I been all day? <laughs> Redders is attacking. Well, she's in the area. Oh, yeah, that'll do. That brings it right into Very the open. Very good strike, yep. Didn't need to because it's two shots. You could have just drawn in and packed the head, but uh, quite comfortable with that shot. Yeah, and I think instead of letting it build up, she's gone early and it's the right decision. Kills off the game. Line a couple.
bold, but you would expect Catherine Rednell to draw this. Yeah, and she knows that by opening it, she gives herself the opportunity to do what she does best, which is draw. There we go. The hit shot, the recovery very, shot, very and the touch up as well. That's oh. Oh. That's yeah. just rubbing it in. Yeah, well, that's just salt in the wound, but, you know, it's... Great ball. Two of the best balls that uh, Rebecca Field has played and gets them taken away. And then the back toucher. She's looking to make a disturbance and uh, not the case. It's all over. One shot, second set, and the match. Captain Rednell. Absolutely nothing that Rebecca Field could do today to keep Catherine Rednell away from the jack. She was absolutely relentless. Perfect display of singles. Played really, really well. Just one end where she faltered by losing a four, but she was eating a lot at that stage. And kept Rebecca Field to singles three in the first set and two other singles in the second.